Now let's implement adding the project functionality. That is when we click this button, a new window appears where you can enter your project. So books to read and click the add new project button so that a new project will be added. And when you click the add task button also, a new window appears where you can specify the name of the task. And when you click the add new task button, that item is added in the particular project. So we are going to implement this functionality in this lecture. So first we need to have a button and a window should appear on the click of this button, right? So let's write the code we have done up to this. So let me add a button after this to-do list and before the tabs widget. So button id equals btn add project and let the label or the text be add project. Now let's see where it appears. Let me refresh. See it appears at the left hand side. So I want to move it to the right hand side to this side and also I want to make it a themable button. So how I can do that? First I want to move it to the right hand side. So hash btn add project and the total width we have set is 700 px. So I think we can have margin left as around 550 so that it will be displayed on the right hand side. Let's see that. Save. Refresh. See it moved to the right hand side. And let me try to make it a button here. So after this let me specify dollar hash btn add project dot button. This will make this button a themable one. Okay. So let's check it now. Save. Refresh. See it is appearing like this. I think 550 is a bit more and we need to have some space between this tabs widget and this button. So what we can do? I think we can change this to 540 and we can specify margin bottom. Let me add 20 px. Save. Refresh. Okay, now it appears like this. Next, what I want, when I click this button, I want a window to appear where the user will be able to enter the name of the project and click the add new project button so that it will be added here. So, we are going to create a dialog for this purpose. So, how we can do that? After this div, that is the div for the tabs widget, I am going to add another div element with id project dialog because this is the dialog that will be appeared for creating a new project okay and within this let me specify label for project and let the text be or the label be project name okay and I also want to have a text box for the user to enter the project name so input id equals project and type equals text. This will add an input element and also the label for this that is project name and the user needs to enter the name of the project in this text box. Then we will be adding the buttons as part of the dialog widget. Okay. And now let's see it. Let me refresh. See, we are able to see this div elements content here. So what we can do, we can set the display property to none. That is style and within this I can specify display to none which will hide the div element. Let's see that. Let me refresh. See the div element is not visible. So what we want to do when we click this button, the dialog should appear, right? So we can write it on the click of the button. So here after this we can write dot click right because we can chain the methods and we can write function and within this function I need to write the code. So here what I am going to write is dollar hash project dialog that is the id of the development 
project dialog dot dialog which will display the dialog let's see that let me save let me refresh let me click this see a dialog is appeared so what we want to have here we can have add a new project and then we want to have the buttons and we can also set the width of this dialog and as of now this dialog will be resizable so we can set the value of resizable to false so let's do all this here so let me first specify the width to be 400 then resizable to false so that the dialog will not be resizable then let me also add the model behavior so that as far as the dialog is displayed no other interaction will be allowed okay next i want to add the buttons so let me move it to this point and add the buttons so for the buttons the value can be an object or an array so here i am going to make it as an object and for this what we want to specify within the object the key should be the label of the button and the value should be the callback function that should be executed on the click of the button so i want to have two buttons so first one is add new project and within this we need to specify the function which will be executed on the click of this button okay and i also want to have another button that is cancel button and this also will be a function which should be executed so on the cancel button i just want to close the dialog and also clear the value in this text box that is in the project text box whereas on the click of the add new project i have to do a number of things that is i should get the value i should add it within this unordered list with ahref and all and then i have to create an ordered list where the items are sortable okay so i'm going to do that first let us complete the cancel one so here let me clear the value in the project text box that is the id of this text box is project so here dollar hash project i think we can change this to new project because here it is projects and it will be a bit confusing so let me change this to new project also this to new project okay and here let me change this to new project dot val and let me put an empty value so that the text box will be cleared and i want to close the dialog so dollar this dot dialog and i want to close the dialog so i can call the close method so the cancel button is now ready next what we want to do we want to add the new project so within this let me first get the value of the project so where project name it will be the value in this text box right so let me copy this paste it here and well this will give us the value of the text box next what should i do i need to add it as an item in this unordered list right so let me copy this okay and here let me specify dollar and within this let me first paste this and instead of hash work and work here we need to have this project name right so instead of this double quotes let me make it a single quotes okay and after this hash let me put a double quotes then plus instead of work it should be project name right so project name again a plus then within the double quotes this single quotes should be closed so close it then after this let me close the double quotes and again a plus then instead of this it should be project name again a plus and start the double quotes hope you understand this i am making an li element which is going to be appended to this unordered list so we have to have the value in this format that is li a h r e f then hash then the personal so instead of personal we are going to make it 
the value entered in the text box then it should be closed then again that value then the a is closed and then the li is closed so here i have done it in the same way li a href then a single quotes then hash the name of the project entered in the text box i am closing this single quotes that is this single quotes then i am closing this starting a tag then i am having the project name closing the a and closing the li this should be appended to the unordered list within this projects development right so how we can write it i can specify append to hash main so that it will be appended to this unordered list so let me add it after this dot append to and it should be appended to the hash main unordered list okay now let's see that save refresh let me click the add project button the window is appearing okay we need to have the title here let's add it later and now let's check test add new project it is not getting closed so we need to do that as well let me close it for the time being we are seeing it like this so why it is not appearing like this we need to call the refresh method then only it will appear like this so after this what should i do i have to have these two lines of code why i need to clear the value in the text box and i also want to close the dialog right so let me paste it here and i also have to refresh the tabs widget so let me copy this and it is a method so let me put it here and write refresh okay that is the name of the method and i also want to have the title for our dialog so where we can add it we can add it in this development as title equals add a project so that is the title of our dialog so let's refresh this let me again add add project okay now it is not cleared let me cancel let me add a project see it is not there let me add test add new project it is added okay next what we want to do we want to have a corresponding ordered list with respect to this test that is with work we have this corresponding ordered list with items and with this personal we have this corresponding ordered list so why i am adding an ordered list with respect to this is then only it will be easier for us to add a new task within that ordered list that is when we have a new button add a task and when we click it what should we do we need to add it within that corresponding ordered list right then only we can add the items within that so here itself we can have an ordered list in this add new project button so how we can do that we need to have an ordered list with id as this one right so let me copy this text and make the modifications okay so here dollar and within this let me specify olid equals and i also want to close this okay so slash ol and let me make the required modification so single quotes here then put a plus instead of personal it should be project name then again a plus and within this double quotes let me close the starting single quotes and this should be appended to which one we should append this to this development right it should not be appended to main why we are adding only the tabs titles here in the main unordered list and these are added as the child elements of this projects so here i can specify hash projects okay so it will be added though there is no value that is a corresponding ordered list will be added within the projects development then one more thing we want to do we want to make the currently added project as the active tab so how we can do that we can get the length of these tabs titles and minus 1 can be set as the value of active so we can get the count here 
let me specify where tab count so how we can get the number of tabs in fact the tabs will be having a class name ui hyphen tabs hyphen nav so using that we can get the number of tabs so dollar hash projects that is the div element dot ui hyphen tabs hyphen nav that will be the class name of the tabs then we can specify li that is the list items dot length this will give us the tab count and we need to make it the active tab so we can use the active option here so dollar hash projects here option active that is the name of the option and its value should be tab count minus one so as of now the tab count will be three here right there are three elements with class name ui hyphen tabs hyphen nav so for this if we want to make this as the active element what should we do the value of active should be two because it starts from zero so here we need to subtract one from the tab count okay now let's see save let me refresh let me add a project okay now it is having the title then let me click test add new project okay it is added but it is not the active tab why okay now we are doing this refresh only after this but as soon as the items are added this should be considered as a tabs item so this refresh should be removed from here and called before this tab count active section so this should be done here and let's check it again let me refresh let me add a project let me add test add new project see it is added and it is made as the active tab and here we can see the other tabs as well so we have implemented the adding project section that is on the click of this button we are displaying a dialog where the user will be able to enter the name of the project and once the add new project button in that dialog is clicked that particular project will be added and it will be made the active tab for the time being so we have done a number of things here we have added a div element and set the value of display to none so that it will not display it until we click the button within the dialog okay and we have added two buttons here the first one is add new project and the second one is cancel on the click of cancel we just want to clear the value in the text box and also close the dialog whereas on the click of the add new project we want to get the value entered in the text box in the dialog we want to add it within the unordered list that is within this one as a new li element with href and all that value so we have done it here dot dollar li href this value closing the a and closing the li and we have appended it to the main unordered list element and similarly we want to have a corresponding ordered list so that we can easily add the tasks so i have also created an ordered list and appended it to the projects development not to the main unordered list then we have to refresh the tabs widgets then only the newly added item will be included in the tabs then we wanted to make the newly added tab as the currently active one so we got the count of the existing tabs so when we add a new tab and refresh the tabs widget this also will be considered as a tabs item and it will be having the class name ui hyphen tabs hyphen nav so we got the count using that class name and minus one is made as the active tab and we have also cleared the value in the text box and close the dialog so we have implemented the adding a project part next we want to implement adding a task part which we will do it in the next lecture